So this is a subject that is not so popular, but I wanted to make this video because I think this is probably one of the best books that is out there for this subject. And I don't know why it's not so popular. Uh, my experience with this subject is, you know, I, I've taken several courses on mathematical statistics in my life, and it was very challenging for me. In fact, the first time I, I, I took a course on mathematical statistics, I withdrew from the course because I was taking advanced calculus at the same time and I just could not handle it. Um, and so I, I retook it and I don't remember the grade I got. It was either an A or a B, um, but it was tough. It, it's, it's a tough course. There's some small proof writing things um, that come up in these courses, very, very small. Those can be really tough if you're bad at writing proofs. But in general, it's not really about proof writing. It's about mathematical statistics. This is the one by Wackerly, Mendehall, and Schaefer. There's multiple editions of this book. There's multiple versions. This is the sixth edition. I will try to leave a link in the description. It's awesome. It's very thorough. So let's go straight to let me open the book and we'll go to the beginning. So here's the copyright on this one, 2002 Wadsworth Group. Wadsworth, um, they've been publishing for a while. Some of their older books are really, really cool. I'm a fan. <laughs> so, you know, you, uh, you start to pay attention to publishing companies and stuff when you start collecting math books. Like, oh, that's a Wadsworth book. And, you know, they used to have dust jackets back in the day. Those were kind of fun. What is statistics? So it talks about what is statistics. Probability. Um, there is some calculus use, by the way, in this book. Like, you do do some multivariable calculus. But that, but that comes later in the book. Typically, in a college setting, you would be required to take Calc 1, Calc 2, and Calc 3 prior to taking this course uh, or, or a course on this. Uh, courses that use this book would be called Mathematical Statistics or Statistical Theory. And typically, statistics majors take them and math majors take them. I had a, a friend in college. He was my best friend in college. Uh, he was a really good guy. He's from Sweden. And he had a 4.0, I think. I'm pretty sure he did. And he got an A in every class except this one. And he got C's in, in, both, in both sections of, of, of the course using this book because it's so hard. Discrete random variables and their probability distribution. I mean, he struggled and it's because he lacked a lot of the proof writing background, uh, I, I think. Continuous random variables and their probability distributions. And it's just a harder course. It's just a, it's a, it's a big game changer. It's way harder than all the other stats courses out there that you take as an undergrad. Functions of random variables, sampling distributions in the central limit theorem. This is really, really important stuff. Um, really important stuff to understand. Estimation, properties of point estimators and methods of estimation. Hypothesis testing, also very important stuff. Linear models and estimation by least squares. Considerations in designing experiments. The analysis of variance analysis of categorical data, non-parametric stats, so, and then it's got some appendices. So this is more than what you could cover in one course, and probably more than what you can cover in two courses, honestly. Um, answers to exercises, it does have. Let's look at those. So that is useful. I also have, I actually have the student solutions manual to this book. Um, I, I use this book for two courses, and it, it basically has uh, the worked out problems, which again is very beneficial if, if you're using this uh, for self-study. Uh, the book is kind of plain on the inside, as you can see. There's not a lot of color. Uh, it's just kind of all gray, but that's fine. It's a math book. Let's look at this definition here, just so you can look at a little bit of mathematics. A little piece of mathematics. A random variable Y, notice they use capital letters for the random variables, and they tend to use lowercase letters for the value you're assigning to it. So like here, See how it says p of y equals little y? So little y is the value being assigned to the random variable big Y. Okay, let's go back to this definition. A random variable y is said to be discrete if it can, be, if it can assume only a finite or countably infinite uh, number of distinct values. And then you see what's countably infinite? There's a number one here. Since you may have not studied that, it, it kind of emphasizes, recall that a set of elements is countably infinite if the elements in the set can be put into one-to-one -one correspondence with the positive integers, yeah. Yeah, and they have some examples here, uh, some probability stuff. And it's, it's pretty tough. Like, it, you, you have to think, you have to be good at, you know, probability and statistics. And um, it's certainly not 
uh, for beginners. But I, I do think it's it's the best book I have on, on mathematical uh, on mathematical statistics. I have some other good ones, and I, I like this one better. I have another one um, that's really really good as well, but. I haven't spent enough time with it to, to make a judgment and say it's better than this one. I've spent more time with this one. For any discrete probability distribution, the following must be true. So your, the probability of little y for all y needs to be between 0 and 1. In other words, it needs to be a valid probability, right? Probabilities are numbers between 0 and 1 inclusive. And then if you add up all the probabilities, you should get 1, where the summation is over all values of y with non-zero probability. Cool. And then here's a histogram. And then here are the exercises. You can see what they're like. And again, you have answers to the odd numbered ones, which as a student, uh, I always wanted to have more answers. Um, and I mean, why not, right? But I think it's because, you know, back in the day before computers, professors, well, a couple reasons, professors mainly, this is the main reason I think, when they're writing the test, they would want to give students questions, right? And like before the internet, right, before, uh, computers, you know, where do you get those questions from? Do you make them up on your own? I mean, that, that's pretty tough, you know, making up probability questions. I mean, you could do it, but, you know, it's easier when you have a book and you can just take problems from the book and put them on a test. And it's just so much easier from a teacher's point of view. So you might say, well, that hurts the students. Yeah, but at least you get the odd ones, right? And you notice there's not that many exercises here. That, that's not commonplace throughout the book. Some sections um, do have more exercises. So one, you see, look, so there's a lot more exercises in, in some of the sections. So yeah. I definitely recommend this book. Any edition is fine. Um, it's, it's a real statistics book. It's a mathematical statistics book. I'm not saying that the easier ones aren't. Like, you know, the one by Triola, which is very popular in the US, is used for like elementary stats, is still a great book. It's got great explanations. It really does a great job with the intuition. This one is more about the math. It does explain the intuition and explains things, but it does it in a much more mathematical way. Hence the name, Mathematical Statistics. So yeah, pretty cool book. Pretty cool book. Um, again, prereq for this, know some stats, and then you wanna know some calculus if you wanna understand the calculus stuff. But mathematical maturity, being good at math is uh, the key, right? The more math you have, the better this is. And again, it's not a popular subject for some reason. Um, my experience with this was all the math majors that took this with me, they all hated it. Um, stats majors, some of them liked it. But generally speaking, you know, math people, when you're, when you're studying math, you tend to, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You tend to focus on just math because it's so hard. It's hard to focus on multiple things. So, but I think it needs to be appreciated and it's a solid book. So if you're looking for a good book on mathematical statistics, check this one out. Also, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathfits.com. If you get them, please use the links from that website. Uh, they're actually on Udemy, but I've lowered the price, so you should get a low price if you use my links. So yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Mathematical statistics. I think it's a great book. Take care.